So, you want to make a video that looks like this? Figure it out. Once you figure it out, you'll be better off in life. Um, keep watching. All right, all right, five minutes or less, let's go. So you wanna make a composition called place video here. You can make the dimensions whatever you want, 1920 by 720, 1080. But for this, I'm gonna make it 1020 by 720. Now you can go ahead and place your footage in this composition. Go ahead and mess with it however you like. This is gonna be the base of your video. The next thing you wanna do is create a composition called Luma. Make the dimensions the same height as the first composition and the width two times shorter. So in this case, 510 pixels. Next, make another composition called Chroma. Make the dimensions the same height as the first composition and the width 17 times shorter. So in this case, 60 pixels. Next, you want to put the place video here composition in both Luma and Chroma. Make sure you match the width to fit each composition's dimensions for the width. Yeah, you know. Then you want to make your last composition called Output. It looks better if you decrease the frame rate of this a little bit. Um, it just, you know, makes it look better. You want to insert the Luma composition here as the first layer and the Chroma composition on top. Make sure you stretch these two out, you know, so it like matches the dimensions of the output. Then you want to change the blending mode for Chroma to color. And yeah, we're starting to see the color distortion and we're almost done. So you want to make a adjustment layer on top. First, you want to add a fast block spur. The blur radius should be 1.2 and the iterations should be 1. Next, add an unsharp mask. Amount should be 100, radius 4, threshold 0. Then add your grain, intensity 1, size 1, softness 1. Then add a wave warp. Wave type is smooth noise, wave height 1, wave width 120, wave speed 4, and the pinning should be to all edges. And this is optional, but you can adjust the hue and saturation if you want to make it look more colorful or less colorful. And yeah, you can adjust the effects here in the adjustment layer, but this is just how I like it. And congrats, you finally made your own VHS effect. I'm freaking out of breath right now, but yeah, kind of a lisp, but it's okay. Shoot, I forgot to mention I got this method from River of the Valley on YouTube. He had an excellent tutorial that I've been using and I just wanted to share it with you all. Alright, thank you for watching. Peace.